Hello, in this video we are going to see how to change the name of cart items at checkout using Shopify functions. This is something that was previously possible through Shopify scripts, but as those are getting deprecated now, let's see how this can be done using Shopify functions. The function we will be using is the cart default function, which allows us to perform modifications to the products the customer has in their cart. In particular, the operation we will be using is the update operation, so we can update the product title. Before getting started, let's see a simple example of why we might want to do this. So let's say we have a store where products have long titles because the owner has decided to add some keywords to the title in an attempt to improve positioning in the search engines and overall discoverability of their products. So they'll end up with something like this. The issue with that is that when you add this product to the cart, the title is very long and can be distracting to the customer. So ideally, we are going to add only the part that is behind the column. In this case, the 3P fulfilled the snowboard. We can try addressing this from the themes code as we could split the card lines title by this column character over here and then take the first part. And that will work. However, it won't extend to checkout. And now that both checkout.liquid and Shopify scripts are close to being deprecated, if we wanted to modify the checkout in any way, we'll have to rely on either checkout UI extensions or Shopify functions. In this case, as mentioned earlier in the video, we are going to use the card form function. And a quick note before the starting, what we will be building in this video is a custom app that contains a Shopify function. And as mentioned in the documentation here, this means that only stores on a Shopify Plus plan will be able to install these apps. The only exception to this are development stores, such as the one I will be using in this video. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Now, from Visual Studio Code, I'm going to run npm init Shopify app latest. And here I'm going to create a new app and name this current items rename function. And I'm going to use the extension template because this app is not going to have a UI. So we don't need remix for this. Now I'm going to take all of this and move it outside of this folder, although you could CD into it and move from there. And then I'm going to run npm run Shopify app generate extension. Okay, I had to log in, but now after logging in, I'm going to select here, create this as a new app, keep this name. And now I'm going to select here car transformer function. So I'm going to rename this to cart items rename. And I'm going to select TypeScript here. Now let's wait for this dependencies to install and I'll be back once this is done. Now let's go here to extensions, cart items rename. And in SRC, the first thing we need to do is update this query over here. So we don't need the quantity what we need here is merchandise because this gives us access to the product. So on product varying here, we are going to get the title and let's also get the product title. We might need this too. Let's take this and now let's open here a new console. And when I see the into extensions, cart items rename and from here I'm going to run npm run type gen so the typings of this GraphQL query are updated in this product ds file actually we don't need a title here the product title should be now but what we do need is a type name here so now let's go to the function and from here let's create operations this will be equal to an array of card operation here. And let's do input that card that lines. And let's filter first. Let's get the line here. And we are going to all the again the card line the card lines where the line that merchandise, the type new, this has to be equal to present variant and then line of merchandise the product the title has to contain include has to include a column here then let's do map 
once again 9 and from here we are going to retire and update operation the car line ID would be equal to line that ID and then the title this will be equal to line dot merchandise we already know this is a product variant at this point so we can cast this as product variant with the product the title and we are going to split to split the title by the colon and take the first item now if operations that named is greater than zero we are going to return operations else we are going to return no changes explicitly because otherwise Shop Shopify will show an error and I have forgotten to run npm run type jan again each time we update this query we have to run this command I didn't get any errors in the typings here because I just removed a property and then added type name which was already present in the types Shopify generates for us but if I don't add it explicitly in the query then this property here will be undefined so we needed to add it in the query and now I'm going to press P to install this app here you see that the right card through forms scope is not present so I'm going to have to close this at crown npm crown deploy so these scopes get updated in Shopify here we see that this is updated and now if I run npm and dev again I should have my app with the updated scopes. We need these scopes to be updated for us to be able to install the car transform function in the store. So now, if I press P again, we can see here that car transform is the scopes. So let's update this. And now let's go over here and press D to open GraphQL. And the mutation we need to run is very simple. Let's first get the function ID cell. So Shopify functions. Let's get the first 10. Let's click edges, no, ID, and title. Here we only have this function installed, so I just need to grab this ID over here, copy this, and then run a mutation of car transform create function ID, paste this ID here, and then we can get here the ID of the created car transform and these are errors in case we get errors while creating this let's run this we get the id so the car transform has been successfully created and installed in the store now let's see it in action so let's go to the store here here is the product let's add it to the card if i view the card i still see everything after the column but if i go to checkout everything after the column has been removed and that is because of the function we just created. And we can confirm this by going to the partners dashboard here. You can see that the function has been running. The input, in the input we get the full title with everything after the colon. But in the output, everything after the colon has been removed. Finally, if we wanted to also update the title over here with the update with the, with the function, we can go to the theme edit code here and let's look for card items main card items over here and now let's look for item the products the product the title it will be in this case this one over here and instead what we are going to do is instead of getting here the product title we are going to get item the title this is the card line items title which is what we are updating with the Shopify function we are not updating the product title itself so now if I refresh this page I can see here the update I made with my Shopify function and of course each team does things differently in this case I'm using done but the code for the card in your theme probably has something similar to what I just showed and that's it for this video
Here we covered one of the multiple things we can do with the car transform function. And if you want to see a more in-depth walkthrough of the possibilities this function enables, check out the video I made about that. I'll be linking it in the video description. There I cover how to do things such as dynamic bubbling or expanding line items into multiple items, both of which are possible through this function. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more Shopify related content, and I'll see you all in the next one.